In this episode, we're in Taylor, Michigan at the brand new Mays Bakery. They're located on Ecorse Road, not far from Pelham. They recently opened and they're serving up Scoop Calder's ice cream, homemade baked goods, and they've even got a country store inside. We're gonna check it out. They've got Calder's ice cream by the half gallons too, so you can get some for home. And they've even got fresh desserts from cheesecakes to cannolis, macaroons. They have those cake pops too. All kinds of sweet treats to satisfy that sweet tooth. Fresh homemade baked cookies, which we're going to try today. And in the back, there's this giant country store. You can get everything from gifts to cake baking supplies. They even carry all the things that you would need to decorate an awesome birthday cake, as well as crafts. And they are working with local companies that are selling their homemade jellies, local honey, Detroit t-shirts, and they've even got model cars that are for sale. And all along the walls, they've got local artists' artwork that you can stop in and pick up. So they've got everything here local. So make sure you get down and support them and come check it out because you can support multiple companies just by stopping in. It's a really cool store too. We're gonna grab some baked goods here and we're gonna head out to the car and check them out. So make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna try these and let you know exactly how they are. They've got all kinds of fresh breads too. And out back, there's going to be a patio where he's going to have party rentals so you can have your birthday parties or events in the back. It's really, really cool. Let's grab these treats and head on out. All right, thank you everybody for tuning back into the channel. I'm really excited about this. That store is awesome. Not only do they have baked goods, they've got all kinds of stuff from local businesses, from t-shirts to jams to honey to fudge. Make sure you check them out. Calder's Dairy's in there. It's really awesome. This was really fun to go to a bakery this time. This is something we haven't done on the channel before. And I really wanna start going to all the local businesses that serve food and check them out. They've also got the Calder's ice cream in there, which I didn't get today, which I probably should because it's 90 degrees here in Detroit again. So thank you so much for watching. All right, so let's just get right into the box. This is the box from May's Bakery. Bam, look at that, holy crap. Wow, that looks really good. Now we got a bunch of different items to try today. Today we got the raspberry chocolate cake. We're gonna try their chocolate chunk cookie. We've also got in the back hiding here, if you can see it, we got a cannoli with a pistachio and chocolate drizzle. Then we also got one of their chocolate bump cake. If you remember the bump cake from Saunders, well, this is a cupcake that is like a bump cake. And then we got their chocolate cake pop. So we got a bunch of things to try. So we're gonna start off with the cake pop. This is their cake pop here, as you can see. It's nice size cake pop. Now it's coated in chocolate. Looks like we got some sprinkles. They serve it on this little stick. So this is the cake pop from Mays Bakery here in Taylor, Michigan. Let's give it a try. Oh my goodness. Wow. We also got some Calder's chocolate milk. They're serving up all the Calder's in there so you can stop in and get your Calder's and get a sip of this. If you've never had Calder's chocolate milk. Wow, it's so chocolatey. So the cake pop, really nice fudgy center, really nice chocolate outside. Let's get one more bite. Mm, very decadent. Very good, we're gonna go eight five on the cake pops. Really, really tasty. Let's get the next item here. This is gonna be the cannoli. Now these are the miniatures, they have big ones, so they have different sizes. But since I got so many desserts, um, we're just gonna try a small one today. So let's give this one a try. You can see there it's coated with the pistachio, loaded with the cream filling. Let's give it a bite. This is the, the pistachio cannoli from Mays Bakery here in Taylor, Michigan. Mmm, wow. That is really good. Really nice light cream. The pistachio adds a nice touch. The cannoli part is nice and fresh and crispy. And that chocolate drizzle adds a lot. Let's get one more bite and we're gonna rate this. That is super good. If you like a cannoli, you're gonna dig that. We're also gonna go eight five on the cannoli. Wow, now look at this. 
this is their um, their chocolate chunk cookie. Now they also have smaller sizes of this one. This one's only three bucks though for this giant cookie. So it looks like we've got different couple different types of chips. They got the the actual chip, and then they've got like a chunk as well. So it's like a chip chunk. This is the chocolate chip chunk cookie from Mays Bakery in Taylor, Michigan. Mmm. Wash it with little calders. Really good cookie. Really heavy. It's got that nice um, chocolate chip cookie taste. The classic. But it's very loaded with chocolate. You can see there how much chocolate's in there very loaded let's get one more bite mm, I really like that I'm a big fan of the chocolate chip cookie we're gonna go eight six on the chocolate chip cookie everything so far is so good this one I'm really excited about this is the next item this is gonna be the bumpy cape cupcake now these are only two bucks so you can go in there and just kind of pick and choose. You don't have to get a dozen of any one thing. And this is going to be, oh goodness, look at that. So you can see it's got the white, the white filling in there along with the chocolate cupcake. So this is the Bumpy Cupcake from Mays Bakery in Taylor, Michigan. Let's give it a bite. Whoa. Wow, silky, smooth, not overly sweet, but very sweet still, I mean, but not overly sweet. The cream's a little light. The cake on the bottom is very soft. Excellent, excellent. Let's get one more bite. We're gonna rate this, wow. Mmm. I'm gonna give that a 9.0. That is excellent. If you've had the Saunders Bumpy Cake, very similar. I think this might be better. The cream, a lot more cream in the bump uh, versus the cake. But the cream was very light. It's very, very, very tasty. Wow, excellent. All right, I keep taking AC breaks. It's so hot. But this is going to be the final item here. Their raspberry chocolate cake. It's got a pistachio topping with a nice chocolate outside, white cake in the middle with a raspberry buttercream frosting in the middle. This is very fancy for a Detroit food review. I know I'm always eating burgers and fries. So we're stepping it up this week. So let's give this one a try. Let's get in there and get some of that. Pistachio. Mmm. That's really good. Let's get one more bite. So the cake in this one's a little bit more of a sponge. It's not as soft. The buttercream frosting is amazing. The raspberry flavor is very good. I really like the nuts on top. The chocolate on the side is a nice addition. Lots of flavors going on. This is a really good cake. We're gonna go eight three on this cake. I really like it. Not as much as the bumpy cake was delicious. But I thank you so much for tuning in today. Check them out. Not only do they have paintings in there, they have Calder scoop ice cream. They have um, all the desserts you can want. You can order your birthday cakes there, along with the general store in the back. Great gift ideas in there. And if you're a cake maker, they've got a full selection of cake making supplies. Check them out, Maze Bakery. Let them know you saw it on Detroit Food Review. And if you've watched this far, I thank you so much. Make sure you click that subscribe, smash that like, leave us a comment. Let us know if you've tried Maze Bakery. Maybe you've been to the Allen Park one and what you thought. And if you've got a favorite bakery around the area, let me know. I'd love to go check it out this summer. The sweet treats are in effect. Everybody's going to picnics and parties, and it's nice to have a place to stop, get a birthday cake, pick up some ice cream, especially Calder's. You can buy it in the half gallons there too, so you don't have to go all the way to Calder's in Lincoln Park or out there to Calder's Dairy Farm. But thank you so much for checking it out. Have a great week. Get out there and get after it, and I will see you on the next video. That's 313.